Hello everyone, welcome back to this 100 day challenge on MATLAB loop. Okay, so today is day 2. The task is, so this is the task. I have written the task here. So if the entered input is between 1 and 9, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then the input is correct. Okay, and the value which is entered is assigned to the output variable and it exists the code. Okay. Okay, if you enter other than this values, what will happen? It could be any negative number, it could be a two digit, three digit, four digit or any digits which is greater than two digit number. Okay, so once if it is in this category, then it will print it as an invalid output. Okay, invalid output. If it prints invalid outputs, the com I mean the function will prompt or the code will prompt the user again to enter the input okay so this is how your code should be okay so till you get the single digit number it has to inside the loop and do the execution once you print the single digit number within this value then the value can be assigned to the output variable and it can exit the code okay so this is the task for today let us get into the matlab and see the coding okay so i have already just uh, written the code okay so this is the code okay so see here this is my function okay function output variable digit and function name which is get underscore digit and i haven't given any input variable to this function okay and also initially i am assigning the digit value to be zero okay and what i am going to do is till digit value is equal to I mean if the digit value is zero okay so the loop has to continue okay if the digit value is not zero then it can exit the loop okay so why i have given the digit values equal to equal to zero to just in to be inside the loop come on let us see it uh, see it here okay okay once it enter the while loop it asks the user to enter a digit and the value which is entered is stored in the variable called in okay that is input variable okay so it takes the input variable and the checking is done here okay so whether it is between 1 and 9 is done with this uh, two I mean two checking condition okay and also whether it is a single digit okay is done with this condition okay so these are the three condition once it passes all the three condition then the value in the input variable in will be assigned to the output variable of the function okay okay then the uh, then the loop can exit okay if it fails any of one condition then it comes to the else part and it prints the invalid output okay so once it prints the invalid output the digit value seems to be zero itself okay it will not take any input value right so it is still zero okay so now see here so while condition passes so again it comes into the function and it asks the user to enter a digit then again it goes on okay so once the it passes all the three condition then it can exit the loop if it is not passing the condition then it will print the invalid output and again it asks the user to enter a digit got it so this is the program let us run the program and see I'm just going to the command window okay i have already run the program so see here so enter a digit i'm going to enter three four five six seven eight nine okay so this is a obviously invalid digit okay again i'm going to enter my negative number minus 89 invalid again i'm going to enter 56 i mean five six seven okay invalid output let us uh, type in some two digit number invalid now i'm going to type in a single digit number which is between one and nine five okay so it is a digit is equal to 5 and it also exists the function okay now again what i'm going to do it for you is again going to run the program and i'm going to enter 0 okay so once it once i enter a 0 what happens so it again prompt me to enter a digit but it will not print an invalid digit okay so now if i enter uh, the single digit number to be a 6 okay so it just gives me the value uh, digit I mean output variable to be 6 and it exists the con function okay I hope you understand the task and the program and also the concept for this today's okay 
uh, if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section i am ready to answer your queries okay and also do please visit the blog for uh, further clarifications okay okay so that's all for this particular video we'll meet you in next video till then take care bye bye